Welcome to the Solid Bag Masterclass at Brazenels 2 of Linear Fisheries. That is mental. I've got a triple tape. I've got a triple tape. Definitely not a 30. 40 pounds, four ounces. Will you join me back down linear where I'm fishing Braze Nose 2 on the point for 48 hours. Now I've brought all the solid bags with me, corn and pellet. We're going to skip the boring part of me setting up. All my kit's ready to go. So let's head down there. Let's get fishing and catch some nice carp that live in this lake. the baiting done now so all that's left to do is get the rods out as you can see the sun is out in force and uh, hopefully this will spur on the fish simple solid bag three of them on a spot over a bed of uh, corn pellet a couple of 12 mil boilies in there as well this should do the trick hopefully yeah I'm in Well, that's the result of the solid bags. I said we was here to put some bags out over bait and it's taken a whole 10, 15 minutes and we're into our first fish. Yeah, proper light. Well, what a start to this solid bag session on Braze Nose 2. Five minutes out there with some bait, three solid bags over the top and it's resulted in this lovely mirror. We're gonna slip this one back. We'll talk through the solid bags I'm using, the bait that I'm using, and how you can build up a hit of fish on Braze Nose 2 and catch some lovely carp like this. What a start. Let's get this one back and hope for many more. Well, as I just said there, while I've got a spare bit of time, I'm just going to quickly go through the solid bag rig with you. All it is, is an Avid stem with an Avid lead, a 4-inch Corda Supernatural 18-pound weed green, slip D-rig with a size 6 Y-gape X and a tiny fake bit of corn. The reason why I use this is that I can take the hook on and off. When it goes blunt, I've got a fish got to go. Well, as I was saying earlier, before I got rudely interrupted, we will come back to that solid bag rig and I will show you the component parts that I'm using. But for now, let's get this fish in and get number two landed. Oh, they're feeding. Check that coming out. A nice slow 20, fish number two. Absolutely buzzing. This session couldn't have got off to a better start. Right, get it back, go again. So yeah, as I was rudely interrupted by that fish, that is the rig itself. And all we do now is take a little closer look at the part separately and how it all comes together. So this is what I'm using on this session. The uh, 60 by 100 mil cart craigs PVA bags just tied off with a PVA cord at the top of the stem. This just helps it get nice and tight. And with the bags being nice and tight, it just means you can send them a lot further. You've seen that I'm fishing 26. Uh, I can get them up to 32 if needed. So yeah, they're, um, the PVA cord is essential just to make that bag really nice and tight and secure. But yeah, that's the bags. All I've got to do now is just make up another 15 because I'm running out and we keep going.
Well, we've got a double take on. I've got the Haynes even my friend from next door just to come and give me a hand. I'm gonna try landing this one, get the other one in. That's the result of some quick spawning. I've uh, reacted to that bait. So let's get this one in and hopefully get both in. Your rods are very ticky, aren't they? Nope. Oh. That is men though. I've got a triple take. I've got a triple take. Try and get this one in. Yeah. This is crazy. My rod is going off there. My friend's got one. I've got one on here. Absolute carnage. One in the net. This is the Has he gone over that one? That's fish number two. Now for fish number three. Well, Hainsey lad, I'll um, I'll collect my third rod off you now, mate. If that's okay. <laughs> well, luckily Hainsey was on hand because I've just had a triple take. Literally one in there, one there, and now this is number three. I mean, that is absolute carnage. I've just put a couple of spawns out to see if I can entice a couple of bites, and all three went. <laughs> that is mental. Right, let's get this one in and we'll have a quick look at them all, get them back out, and then, yeah, just solid bags. I'm telling you, they're deadly on B2. Well, apologies about the carnage on the video, but that was just insane. So all three rods have gone near enough at the same time. Luckily, my friend on next door, Hainsey, was on hand to come and help me, because I've literally got a double in there, a 20 in there, and I'm pretty sure I've got a 30 in there. That is bonkers. Literally just a couple of spawns and it just kicked off. So I'm going to get all these rods clipped back up, get the bags back out, get another six spawns out. And then we're going to deal with these fish in quick time, get them back and hopefully it continues. But this is the reason why I'm doing the video on solid bags on B2. Because I believe, honestly, if I had heli safes out there, I'd be trickling the bites off. But just for some reason on B2, solid bags are just absolutely devastating so hopefully that's proof in the pudding for you all and um yeah let's keep these bags going out well i can't quite put this into words I just had a crazy 10 minutes. I had a triple take. Luckily, Hainsey was in hand to give me a hand. I've had a double, a 20, and I said I had a 30. It's definitely not a 30. 40 pound, four ounces. Check that out. That is absolutely ridiculous. Part of a triple take, 40 pound, four from Brazenose 2. Oh, I am over the moon. You don't understand. The last time I was here, I gave a 40 pounder to my wife. I've got one myself now, one that I can claim for myself. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing. What an absolute gut on this is. Right, we're gonna get this one back and uh, believe it or not, I've got another two in the net. As I landed this one, the rods went back out and they've gone off again. So they're gonna get slipped back. Oh my God, what a fish. Well, here she is, 40 pound four and she's so good. She's ready to go back. I'll give you one last look, if she'll allow me. Check that out. That's absolutely insane from Braze Nose 2. Right, let's get her back. I've got a double take on again. This is crazy. Well, again, I don't know how much you're seeing of this, but I just had a take on the left hand rod. I've put one at 12 wraps. I keep seeing a lot in the margin and that's just gone off again. And as I'm playing that, the other rod's gone off. And uh, let's see if we can get this one in. Bit of steady pressure. It should come through the weed.
but this is the bigger one of the double take 25 pound 10 ounces beautiful orangey mirror car from braze nose 2 but let's get this one back get the spawns out and let's go again Big Haynes, he's in. I better return the favour since he uh, helped me out with that triple take. All right, let's have a look at this one, mate. Well, as you would have seen there, I've just gained Haynes here hand landing, I think fish number four or five from his swim, but uh, I've got work to do myself. Look at all of them solid bag rigs that I need to retie. So, don't stop, gotta keep busy, keep the bags tied, which will bring me more fish. Right, let's crack on, get these bags sorted. Well, as you can see, I got rudely interrupted from prepping all them solid bags with another take. So, yeah, just keep it going. Get this one in, fresh bag, 26 wraps three spawns and we've finished the rest of them bags once it's done. Well, I've got a decent fish in here. Slings just zeroed. Thirty-six eight. But check that out for fish number eight. Thirty-six pound eight ounces of Braze Nose Two Big Simo Carp. Not a looker, but up in weight. So let's get this one back. And uh, yeah, this is fish number eight, so it's going well at the moment. The solid bags are doing the do. Right, happy days. My wrists are killing. <laughs> Well, what a start to this video. I will apologize. It might be a bit chaotic at the moment and some footage might be a bit naff, um, but it has just been absolutely chaos. Since 10 o'clock and four o'clock, I've landed eight fish, lost one, um, and it's just been crazy. I've had a bit of a break now, but I'm gonna get the spawns out just to see if we can start getting the, the hits coming back in. And yeah, but solid bags, what can I say? What a video to uh, prove to people that B2 solid bags, it just works. And in the mix, I haven't showed everyone yet. All I'm using is the uh, two to three mil sticky bait pellets. And it's a mixture of the blood worm, the krill and the manila all mixing together. So no matter what bottom you're fishing on, whether it's silt, gravel, clay, etc., the different color of pellets will stand out on different kinds of bottom. And I think that's a massive advantage in the solid bags. And it's, well, it proofs in the pudding, it's working. So yeah, right. We've had a bit of chill, let's get some spawns out and let's keep the dinner bell ringing. Let's get some more fish. That's fish number nine, let's get her back. Well, that is fish number 10. Again, fall into the 26 wrap spot. I've not said anything yet, but I've got a spot at 12 wraps just to the left-hand side. It's produced four fish now, and the 26 wraps produce six fish. So, yeah, 10 fish, eight hours fishing. Can't grumble, but I'm gonna get this one back, get some more bait out. I'll talk you through my spot mix. It's pretty simple. Corn, pellet, and some 12 mil krill boilies. Doing the business. Right, let's get this back, and uh, yeah. Oh. As you can see, it's not happy, and I'm tired. Well, after releasing uh, fish number 10, I thought I'd quickly talk you through my spod mix. Now, it's nothing you've not seen before. If you watch any of my videos, you know sweet corn is the biggest thing for me down linear, and I bring a lot of it. 
So number one is sweet corn going into my spud mix. Number two is the trusty old pellets. Again, these are the same mix as my solid bags. It's the bloodworm, krill and manila six mil pellets going into the spud mix just to match the freebies uh, that sit around my solid bag, but they're two to three mils in my solid bag. And then last but not least, the 12 mil krill boilies. I crumb some of them up, I put them in whole and then mix that all together with a nice serving of the cloudy krill liquid and yeah, that is my number one linear spod mix. Come winter time, I'll switch over to Manila, but yeah, it does work an absolute treat down here. So we're gonna make that spod mix up now, get a few spoms out of the 26 wrap spot, cause that's just done a fish and hopefully we can bring you some more. Well, as I was just taking pictures of my friend's fish, the rod absolutely melted off. You can only imagine there's another charged up male. Man, it's tight and everywhere. The only problem I've got when playing these fish, I've got a nice wee bed just out in front of me. And every time they come in, they try getting in this wee bed. But a bit of steady pressure and it comes through. <laughs> but check this one out, 29 pound, just one pound shy of that magical 30. Yeah, buzzing, that's fish number 11. Starting to slow down a little bit now. So I'm going to finish making the rest of them solid bags up, ready for tonight. It's not a night water BU2, so we might be able to pick a couple off, but we'll be ready, set for tomorrow to hit it again and hopefully have a hit of fish. Right, let's get this one back, finish them bags off. Well, unfortunately, this isn't winning any good looks award. So this one is going straight back. Maybe not, it's got a hook in its belly. So we're gonna just get it out quickly, take the hook out and treat it, and then we'll get it back. Well, carp, they come in all shapes and sizes, and this isn't hitting my picture album, but it had a hook in it. We've got it out, we've treated it, and we're gonna get it back. Well, it's now half past eight, and uh, yeah, obviously I just slipped fish number 12 back. It had a bloody hook in the side of it. So we got that out, got it treated and sent it on its way. But I'm now gonna go sort out the mess that's in the bivvy. I've got about 15 solid bag rigs to make up ready for tonight. But first and foremost, time for a brew, then some spoms, and then we do the bags. So hopefully it won't kick off. Hopefully I'll have a bit of time to just admin myself, get sorted and then go again. Right, let's get this sorted.
but we're not going to mess around with this one. It's another low 20, so we're going to get this one straight back. Well, good morning and nothing to report last night. I woke up this morning to a take and um, yeah, unfortunately I lost it. It just absolutely melted off. I was in quite a deep sleep. I'm quite fortunate enough to actually uh, had some sleep because I think potentially it's going to be another busy day. So no two days are the same. I've just done all the bags. I've got some spoms out and I've given them a bit of bait this morning. I've given them an extra 10 spoms after that take. So yeah let's hope we get into some of them chunks i mean the session's already made we've had that 40 pound four ounce yesterday and a 36 8 so whatever comes along today is just a bonus so all my solid bags are prepped all my admins done i'm ready for today so let's see what happens After doing three fresh bags, 10 spoms, we're into our first fish and it didn't take long at all. So I'm going to concentrate, get this one in and hopefully we can build up a hit of fish again today. You can go back. Got another one to deal with in there. Crazy start, that's three fish in an hour. Well, good morning and what a morning it is with a quick flurry of fish that's five takes four landed in a couple of hours not even that and yeah the more bait i put out the more they keep coming so smaller stamp of fish this morning so hopefully we can get into the bigger ones but yeah can't grumble that's fish number 17 the other ones are released back earlier just small fish a bit like this but this is the prettiest one so let's get this one back and keep them coming well this is fish number 18 looks like a half decent one 27 8 got a really nice big scale on it we'll have a quick look at it now we'll check this one out 27 8 fish number 18 on a manic morning feed and spell not going to keep this one out too long going to get it back and carry on I've not even got the energy. That's one of his bloopers. <laughs> not even got the energy. Well, after fish number 18, it's gone a little bit quiet, which sometimes isn't a bad thing because I've now managed to sort out all my bags, get some more spoms out over the spot, actually have some food. And yeah, it's been nice just to chill out for an hour without the rod screaming off double takes, etc. So all I'm gonna do from here now is just sit back. I'm gonna give the rods maybe 20, 30 minutes and then all three rods will come in with fresh bags and I'll send them back out again. And then hopefully we can start picking off a few more fish. But whatever happens, it's been a really good session. I'm just over 24 hours in, 18 fish, 140, one upper 30, loads of high 20s. And yeah, it's just been, I couldn't have asked for a better session to show people how good solid bags are on Braze Nose 2. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish off my brew, sit back and then let's get some fish again. Well, it's taken a little bit longer than expected to get a bite. It's been a good couple of hours now, but a little top off of the bait over the spots has produced a bite. So let's get this one in. This is fish number 19 and uh, nearly at that magical 20 mark. Absolutely nailed in the side of the mouth. Thank you. 
Well, that is fish number 20. Not the biggest, but a milestone, 20 fish in 30 hours of fishing. And we've still got tonight and tomorrow morning to go before we've got to be off. This one doesn't want to play ball. But yeah, we're going to slip this one back now. I've just got the spawns back out. This one isn't happy, so Ugh, let's get it back. Well, it is kicking off a little bit this morning. I've got no bait left in the bucket. I've just put my sweet corn in. Now about to get my pellets in. And yeah, it is hard filming on my own, trying to keep these bites coming, because as you all know, you've really got to work hard when you're getting here. To keep these bites consistent as they are, you've got to keep the bait going in, the bag's going accurately, and that's what I'm doing. So apologies if the film is a little bit all over the place or there's stuff that's missing. It's because I'm constantly working this swim, trying to build up this hit of fish. I've got one in the net now, which looks like a decent one. So we get that out in a second once I've weighed it. But first and foremost, another six bombs over the spot should keep these bites coming. Well, this is bite number 21. It's holding its ground. So all we're gonna do is just get these three rods clipped back up and sent back out. That fish gave me a bit of a drama. It took out one of my other rods. So I'm gonna redo all three, get some fresh bait out, and then we're gonna take a look at this fish. It might be a scraper 30, but again, as you can hear and see, the wind is an absolute nightmare. So hopefully these bags go out first time, but yeah, let's get this done. Hopefully nick another fish. But check this fish out. It's a fish number 21 at 29 pound. This one absolutely battered me out there. It went left, right, stripping line. And yeah, we finally got it in the net. So made up with this one. I've just lost a fish. That would have been number 22, but I'm happy. The bites are still coming. It's a totally different day today. The weather's moody, windy, overcast compared to bright sunshine yesterday. So yeah, mega. Let's get this one treated and get it back. Well, it's now half five and the weather's taking a turn for the worse. We've got rain, heavy winds, but we're still gonna persevere. We've got three fresh bags out, some extra spawns, and we'll see what happens from there. I'm on 21 fish, I've just lost a couple, so it's still looking good to catch a couple of fish, but I've got a friend joining me, Guyton, so we're gonna have some food, chill out. He stuck a couple of rods out to see if he can nick a couple of fish as well. But yeah, it's really slowed down today. The weather's totally different to what it was yesterday. But like I said, we've still got a good chance of catching a few before we have to leave tomorrow at night. So me and my friend are gonna have some food, chill out, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you with a couple of more fish. Well, we're now heading into the evening and it's not been as hectic today. Again, no two days are the same in fishing. The weather's completely different today as what it was yesterday, but we've still picked off fish. I did just land another one about sort of half hour ago, a nice 25 pound mirror, um, which I'll show you guys now. And yeah, apart from that, it's been really hard going. We've kept the bait going in, freshening up the bags, hitting the spots every time. So there's not really much more we could have done today. I think just the changing weather, the high winds, the low pressure has maybe just pushed them off a little bit more out of this swim. But I'm confident we can nick a couple more before we have to leave at nine o'clock tomorrow. But all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sign off here. I'm gonna chill out. I've got a friend come up who I'm gonna just chew the fat with. And yeah, we're gonna chill out now and I will see you all in the morning, hopefully with a couple of more fish before we have to leave. If not, I'll end the session with you all guys in the morning. Well, 
Well, good morning, and what a beautiful morning it is. Look at the sun just piercing through now. Um, yeah, so just a quick morning update. I woke up before first light where I could just about see. I brought all the rods in, clipped them all back up, put three fresh bags out, and I put another six bombs over the top. And within about half hour, the rod's gone off. So it's a good start to the morning. That might be the last fish. We've only got a couple of hours left before we have to leave. So I'm gonna take a look at this fish, get the remaining stuff packed down and just fish on the rods before we have to go at nine o'clock. So yeah, what a start, but what a beautiful morning that is compared to yesterday's miserable weather. Right, let's go take a look at this fish. Well, this is the reward to getting up early, redoing your rods, getting some bait out. Been rewarded with this lovely mirror. Only a small thing, but effort equals reward. And yeah, I'm more than happy. We've only got a couple of hours left of this session. So this might be the last fish, but what a session that's been. A session of two halves, really nice, sunny, hectic fishing. And then yesterday, overcast, cloudy. Fishing was a bit slow, picking off fish, but can't grumble nevertheless. This is fish number 23. Yeah, it's ready to go back. Well, that is fish number 25, and uh, yeah, not the best looking to end the session, but what a session it's been. Let's see if I can hold it up one more time. There we go. Let's get this one back. Well, that is me now finishing my session. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Hopefully that shows you how good solid bags fishing is on Brazenose 2. So get yourself down here, get your bags prepped, and you can have a big hit of fish just like I did on this session. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the bank soon.